Come on, come on, Sophie. Finish up before she comes back. Stop moving, will ya? She's with Mr. Harari. Hey, girl, you know she'll kill me if she finds out I'm using her nail polish. So hurry up now. Yeah, we'll keep it up, and she's going to find out one of these days. Well, not today. So come on now. Boomba fool, look at what you did. Stupid girl. What's your problem, ma? Nothing, nothing, I'm fine. Yeah? You've been sharp with me all morning. Don't turn away when I'm talking to you. Smile, Salima. Talk pretty. Them soldiers, they don't respect nothing. The miners, they're easy. They want food, company, and that's it. But the soldiers, they want more of you. Did that man do something to hurt you? You know what he said? He said 15 hammer men were shot and buried in their own mining pits. <laughs> a mud so thick, it swallowed them right up without any mercy. He said one man took the coal tin and stuffed it in his mouth to stop the soldiers from stealing his hard work. So they split his belly open with a machete. That will teach him not to steal, he says. Bragging. Like I should congratulate him. Huh. Hey, did you? No! I'm Hema! One of those men could have been my brothers! Don't even say that. I miss my family. My baby, my husband. We said we wouldn't talk about it. You know, just then I was thinking about Beatrice. And how much she loved bananas. You know, I'd take the bananas and I'd squeeze them between my fingers and I would feed her like this. And she'd make a silly little face. Such delight. Delight! Lower your voice. Please let me say my baby's name Beatrice! Sometimes their hands are full of so much hatred, it has to be touched. You know, I was looking at you the other day when you were singing, and you seem almost happy, like a sunbird that will fly away if you reach out to touch it. Is that what you think, huh? Mm. While I am singing, I am praying the pain will be gone. What those men did to me lives inside of me. And I feel them every step I take punishing me. And it will be that way for the rest of my life. Pregnant and I cannot tell him how she'll turn me up. You know what I was doing that morning? I was in our garden picking the last of the sweet tomatoes. I put Beatrice down under the Frankie Pine tree because my back was giving me problems. 
and then I felt a shadow on my back. So I turn around and I see four men standing there smiling, wicked schoolboy smiles. Yes, I said. And the tall soldier hit me in the cheek with the butt of his gun, just like that. It happened so quick, I did not fall into the ground. Where did they come from? How could I have not have heard them? You, you, you don't have to. And the man was holding me down. He was holding me down with his foot on my chest. He was thick, heavy like an ox. And his boot was cracked and weathered like he'd been out in the rain for weeks. He was pressing my chest out with his foot. And it was all I could see as the others took me. He was crying. She was a good baby. Beatrice never cried, but she was screaming. Cry! Shh! I said, shh! And one of the soldiers took his boot and stomped on her head. many things, but she don't come so good. And when we have enough, I'll take a bus to Puna. I promise. 
Promise not to say anything. Not even to Josephine, okay? Okay? 